In this video, we will be looking at the different types of question available within Microsoft Forms. We will also look at how each question can be used in both forms and quizzes. Choice questions allow the respondent to select from a list of multiple choice answers. In both forms and quizzes, the question will have to be entered, as well as the possible options. Multiple options can be added. After entering your question and your possible answers, by selecting the three dot menu, these answers can be shuffled. This means that when the respondent opens the quiz or form, the answers will appear in a random order. You also have the option to select drop down menu, which means that the answers will appear in a drop down rather than all choices being available at the one time. You can also choose to enable multiple answers. This will allow respondents to select multiple options when answering the question. In quizzes, points can be added to these types of questions and the correct answer must be selected also. Text questions allow the respondent to enter their own written response to a question. Enable the long answer option to provide a visibly larger text box for the user's response. Even if this option is not selected, there is no restriction placed on the amount of text that can be entered as an answer. By selecting the three dot menu, there are restrictions available. These restrictions can be used when the answer is expected to be a number. You can choose to restrict the answer to only numbers or numbers within certain ranges. In a quiz, points can be allocated to these questions and correct answers can be entered. When quizzes are auto marked, only answers with the exact spelling as the stated correct answers will be marked as correct. If you are expecting a longer response to your question, it is not necessary to enter a correct answer. Ratings questions allow the respondent to rate between 2 and 10 against a given statement or question. Simply enter the statement or question and choose your level of rating. You can also choose for your ratings question to be displayed as stars or simply as a number. By selecting the three dot menu you can add a label to your ratings question. This will label the lowest and highest values in your scale to help explain the scale to the respondent. Within a quiz, there is no correct answer to be selected, however, points can still be attributed to the question if you wish. Points need not be allocated if the question is simply evaluative. Date questions allow respondents to select a date from the calendar in answer to a question. For both forms and quizzes, simply enter the question. In a quiz, there is no correct answer to be identified, but again, Points can be attributed to this question if you wish. Ranking questions allow respondents to rank a list of options. Within a form, enter the question and then enter the options to be ranked. When responding to the form, respondents can simply rank these options in order of their preference. Rankings questions within a quiz are slightly different. In a quiz, the options have to be set in the correct order. When this question is presented to a respondent within the quiz, the options will be randomised and this is up to the respondent to list the options again in the correct order. As this is a quiz question, as usual, points can be allocated to this question. To recap, ranking questions within a form should be used to find out the respondent's order of preference for a list of options. Rankings questions within a quiz can be used to test people's knowledge of a sequence of operations or other subjects where the options must be listed in the correct order. Likert questions allow respondents to gauge their attitudes and opinions towards a given topic or to categorise given items. Within a form, enter the question followed by the agreement options in the top row. Statements can then be added in the left hand column and when this question is presented to respondents, they will be able to select which option they agree with for each given statement. Within a quiz, a Likert question can be set up exactly the same way, however points can also be attached. Likert questions can be used within a quiz when asking pupils to categorise certain items. 
for example, categorising elements within their periodic table grouping, or categorising words as nouns, verbs or adjectives, etc. File upload questions allow respondents to upload files in response to a question. When creating a file upload question, you're notified that a new folder will be created within your OneDrive. Any files which are uploaded via this question will be captured in that folder. After entering the question, you can choose to limit the number of files that each respondent can upload. This ranges between 1 and 10. And you can also choose to limit the size of individual files which are uploaded. This ranges between 10 megabytes and 1 gigabyte. As with all quiz questions, you can choose to attribute points to this question if you wish, although it is not necessary. There is no correct answer to be selected with this question type either.